It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? It's Friday then. Saturday, Sunday. What? Yeah, it's okay. What's up? This is Jeff. Welcome to Jeff's podcast. Today, we're talking about the Boys After themed animated series for the winter 2020 season. We're talking about Liber Entertainment's Q, and this is interesting as one of my picks for the winter 2022 anime after I watched Kenjiro Hata and Masami Asano's Radio's Life back in July 2015. This could be the start of the show for these boys after aspirants. Pay attention to the show and listen to it. Q is based on the mobile application published by Liber Entertainment released in Japan in October 2019. It is a simulation game where players can train up-and-coming voice actors. Liber is known for producing mobile apps such as A3 App Addict Actors, which is a main racing simulation game, and adapts it into media projects such as anime, stage play, and an upcoming live action film. They also have an English version of the mobile app which is available now, depending on which country is available on Google Play and the Apple App Store. And the mobile app was released in Japan in January 2017, followed by its worldwide release in October 2019. In Q, the story tells on how Nam Mutsuisi, a rookie voice actress who hasn't experienced becoming a voice actress, as she steps up to become a top professional voice actress. She is working at the talent agency Airblue, along with 15 members of the group which splits into four groups for a total of 16 members, including Flower, Bird, Wind, and Moon. Haruna is a member of the Flower Group along with Maika Takatori, Shiho Kano, and Honda Kazuki. As the story progresses, for all the members of four groups, the girls are striving their way to become talented voice actors, whether you're playing the role in a video game, animated shows or movies, or even foreign movies or shows. I finished watching the first two episodes of the anime and it really is a good start for the show. I already watched idol team shows such as Love Live and The Idol Master, and band team shows such as k on and Band Dream, plus DJ team shows such as d for dj But this voice actor themed anime is different. Well, there are idols anyway for the girls of Airblue, so I'm going to take my word as a yes for a voice actor themed anime genre. The cast for the animated series are the members of Airbnb, and the opening theme song is definitely a pop, so I listen to my MP3 player on the PC and mobile phone all day long, even on the road, and also watching music videos on YouTube. Among the members of Airblue are also the members of different groups, such as Dialogue Plus, including Rina Ujiyama, Yoka Moria, Ayaka Takamura, Satsuki Miyahara, Mayu Isura, and Manatsu Murakami. Murakami is making her breakout role as Akebi Komichi in Hero's Akebi Sailor Uniform anime, which is also part of the Winter 2022 anime season. Some have already played their roles in different projects, such as Megumi Yamaguchi, who is known as the voice of Kitori Takimoto in Yuki, Yukari Ansai, who is known as the role of Tiara in Lapis Free Light, which is based on the mobile app, Nene Hieda, who is known as the role of Miyako Muruhuma in Warlords of Sigurdipa, and Hina Tachibana, who is known as the role of Maina Ichi in Oshibudo. Tachibana had already made, or has already made her breakout role in Oshibudo, and she also played the dual version of the cover version of Pink One-Sided Love, or Momohiro Kataomoi, along with fellow voice actress Ai Bai Roots. The song is originally played by Aya Matsura, when the song is released in February 2002. That was the 20th anniversary of Matsura's fifth season as well as breakout role for the anime, such as Saki Matsuda. Matsuda is known for the role of Aoi Asahina in a stage play adaptation of Kasutaka Kodaka and Spy Chains of Nagawopa, along with Yuna Onata, Arisa Suruno, and Mai Sato. Ryo Tsuchiya is also her breakout anime role, and she is known as the voice of Madara Higuchi in the Idol Master's Shiny Colors. My thoughts on Q and the anime is a good show for the season. The characters are very cute and it really is very challenging on wanting to become professional voice actors. Pay attention to voice actors as fans, this show is definitely fun to watch. Plus, there is one scene that you like to see in the first episode of the anime, is the Hamlet scene. 
Plus, a collaboration between Yometa Company and Greg Finica on interest to produce the anime. Seiyu's Life Anime is one of the picks for the 2015 anime season, where they featured talented voice actors who made their guest appearance in the anime, and the show is played by three voice rookie actresses who are also played their roles in real life as they step up to become talented voice actresses. Q captures some of the magic of the performing arts when all of the girls get their first voice acting lesson and presents itself as a somewhat cynical, decision spike of focus tested commercialism aimed at a very specific demographic. If the whole episode has been nothing but the various girls acting their hearts out doing different interpretations of the same theme, this might have been one of my favorites of the season. If you have comments or suggestions, let us know in the comments. Follow Jeff 11 Matches on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to youtube.com slash Paperboy. Well, that's about it for Jeff's podcast. This is Jeff. We'll see you in the next podcast.